Welcome everyone to another very exciting set of races. Today's battle will be held on a downhill water ramp. Many of today's racers will try and fail to clear the jump and make it to the other side. And only a select few will be the strongest and fastest in order to do so. And then at the very end we will have one final race with all of the haulers competing against each other. And so now let's get started with reviewing the haulers so that way they have a proper introduction. And now here as we zoom in we can see each one of the haulers in immense detail. With these bottom two being from the veteran series of racers and this top one right here being from the next gen series of racers. You can really notice a difference between the next gen series and veteran series. Here on the back we see a really awesome picture of the hauler fully operational. Now let's go ahead and get this hauler out of the box so that way we can review him better. Just gotta take the top off, get the bottom open, and then flip these, and then boom! We have the hauler in its full epic glory! Here's how you open the sides of the trailer, and that way you can see inside of it. On the inside, he has a little platform that pulls out like so. And he also has a little ramp that flips down so the racer can get into him. And now I present to you, Steve Karski, the hauler that transports Brick Yardley, the number 24 Vitaline racer. The main colors of which are green and white. And here is how the racer enters into the trailer up on the ramp. Inside the trailer, we have a toolbox, tires, and an air compressor. Do you know which movie these two were featured in? If you do, let me know in the comments below! Now let's go ahead and push this platform in, that way we can see what the racer looks like inside the trailer. Now we're just gonna close up this side, and then this side, so the racer will be safe and sound inside that trailer, and then they'll speed off! making way for our next hauler to review. Now looking on the back of the box of this hauler, we see the name of him and a really awesome illustration of the hauler as well. Now let's go ahead and get him out of the box so that way we can review him better. And now first we gotta take this top off right here, then we gotta open the bottom and then flip these switches, and then boom! We have this really awesome hauler ready to go. And just like Steve Karski, here's how you open the sides of the trailer. He also has the platform and ramp as well. I now present to you, Ponchi Wipeouts Hauler. With the main colors being white, blue, red, and white, here we have Ponchi Wipeout. Do you happen to know which version of Ponchi this is? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and see Ponchi Wipeout get into the trailer, just as before he uses the ramp to get up inside of it. Inside the trailer we have a toolbox, some tires, and an air compressor. Ponchi Wipeout's looking pretty comfortable in there. Let me know what you all think. Now let's go ahead and start closing this trailer up. First we push this platform back in, and then we close this flap, and then push this flap down. Now the trailer's all nice and secure, and we move the hauler out of here. That gives us room to review our third and final hauler. Our next hauler is a really cool and awesome next-gen hauler. Here on the bottom of the box, we can see that it's perforated, which makes it easier for us to get into. Now let's go ahead and get him out of the box, so that way we can review him better. We're gonna go ahead and open up the box this way. That way it'll be undamaged, and we can reuse it if we ever want to put him on display. And so now I present to you, Jackson Storm's hauler. Now let's go ahead and take a look around him. We can see that his main colors are mainly black with some blue accents, and he looks very sleek. I'd say the only part of him that really opens up is the back hatch, which folds down into a ramp, which we can then pull out to reveal the main platform. Do you happen to like this design better than the veteran racer haulers? Let me know in the comments below! I present to you, Jackson Storm's hauler. Here we can see Jackson Storm moving up onto the platform, which we will now push back into the hauler and close up the hatch. Now let's go ahead and get him out of here and move him around next to the other haulers. This way we can see all the haulers next to each other, and that will give us an even better and greater comparison of all of them. Here are all the spectacular haulers that we reviewed in today's video, starting out with Steve Karski, and then moving on to Ponchi Wipeout's hauler, and then lastly we have Jackson Storm's hauler. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below! You can either write the name or number to let me know. Both generations of haulers look really cool. It's really hard to decide which is my favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment you've all been waiting for, Jackson Storm's trailer comes pulling up with our first set of racers. First up is Jackson Storm. Next, we have Rich Mixon, sponsored by Tank Coat. Third up, we have Richie Gunzit, sponsored by Gasprin. 
And lastly, we have Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. And now it looks like Steve Karski's pulling up on the track with his set of racers. First up is Brickyardly, sponsored by Vitaline. Next up is Parker Brakeston, sponsored by N2O Cola. Third up is Darren Leadfoot, sponsored by Shiny Wax. And lastly, we have Lightning McQueen, sponsored by Rusty's. Here comes Ponchi Wipeouts Hauler, carrying Ponchi Wipeouts, sponsored by Bumper Safe. Dirkston D'Agostino, sponsored by Trunk Fresh. Dino Drafsky, sponsored by Clutch Aid. And Phil Tankson, sponsored by Nitro Aid. And now here comes our last and final hauler, coming up with cars from the Demolition Derby. First car that's up is Chester Whipple Filter, racing with the number 15. Next up is Sigalert with the number 22. Third up, we have the number 96, Fishtail. And lastly, we have Taco, racing with the number 4. And now our racers are getting all pumped up for their first race. Every racer will start up here at the very top of the ramp. Then they'll travel all the way down over here to the jump, which will go across a giant pool of shark-infested waters. And then, the racers that make it past that and cross the finish line will qualify for the final race. Now let's go all the way back up here to get our racers all set up for their first race. Good luck to every single one of you racers. You all are gonna need it. And for our very first race, we have Richie Gunzit, Dino Drafsky, Parker Brakeston, and Fishtail. Are they ready to race? Let's find out. And our racers are off at full speed ahead, lining up for that jump, and whoa, what just happened? Let's watch the next replay to find out. Here we see Richie Guns is starting to fall behind with Dino Drafsky settling into third position. Brooker breaks in and Fishtail are battling it up for first position, and they all dive into the water. Let's watch the aerial replay one more time to find out who won. Here we have our racers mostly starting out side by side, but uh-oh, it looks like Clutch Ace having some trouble there going from side to side. Will he be able to catch himself? Let's find out. As they line up for the jump, Dino Drafsky, oh no, makes contact with Parker Brakeston, pushing him into the water. Oh no, let's watch the poolside camera to see if anyone made it to the other side. And no, it looks like all of our racers went straight into the pool. We are going to have to have another race to break this tie. Let's go ahead and get our next gen racer out of the water. And then there's our Thunder Hollow racer. Oh, it looks like Clutch Aid's okay. And then lastly, Parker Brakeston, let's get him out of the water. Here we have all of our racers getting nice and dry in the sun. Let's line them back up here to get them ready for the race. And our racers are off at full speed ahead, and whoa, it looks like a lot of action just happened. Let's check it out with the next replay. And as our racers come down the track, it looks like Fishtail is punching on the accelerator, taking first position easily. And whoa, it looks like a big battle erupted between Dino Drafsky and our Thunder Hollow racer. Let's check out the error replay to find out. And as our racers come bursting down the ramp, it looks like Gasprin and Parker Brakeston are fighting to stay out of last position, but oh no, it looks like that ultimately goes to Parker Brakeston. Here come our racers lining up for the jump, and no, it looks like Fishtail gets stopped by a shark, and whoa, it looks like a big crash across the finish line at the end. Let's check out the last replay to find out who crossed it, and here they come, and whoa, no, it looks like it was Richie Gunzit crossing the finish line as he barrels across the finish line. And way back here in last position, we have Fishtail, and then oh no, at the bottom of our pool, we have our veteran racers. And then way over here, flipped over across the finish line, we have our winner, Richie Gunzit. Congratulations for moving forward to our final round. And for our second set of racers, we have Rich Mixon, Dirkston D'Agostino, Darren Leadfoot, and Sigalert, all of whom are ready to race. And straight out of the gate, it looks like chaos ensues, and whoa, wipe out! Let's check out the action one more time with our aerial replay. And as we start off our race, it looks like our racers are starting out pretty much side by side, and as they start to pick up speed, it looks like Rich Mixon takes first position, and then, whoa, no, it looks like Dirksen Digostino sideswipes Rich Mixon, pushing them into the pool. I didn't even see who won, so let's check out our next replay. Here they come, and then, boom, oh no, it looks like some contact between Darren Leapfoot and the Shark, and it looks like no one crossed the finish line, so we're going to have to have another tiebreaker to find out our winner. Let's go ahead and fish our racers out of the water. There's Dirksten D'Agostino, and then Darren Leapfoot and Rich Mixon are next. And where's our other racer? Oh, there's Sig Alert, but he's not even in the water. He was just in last position on the ramp. Let's go ahead and set our racers back up at the top and get them ready for another race. 
And here come our racers barreling towards the finish line with great speed, and whoa, what just happened? Let's check out the next replay to find out. And here at this angle, it looks like Dirksten D'Agostino has taken first position. Oh no, he's having some trouble there, and a big crash! Let's check out the error replay to watch it again. And here come our racers down the track at full speed ahead, with Dirksten D'Agostino barely starting to take that lead. And then, oh no, if you'll pay attention to Sigler, it looks like he's falling behind in the last position as they enter the ramp part of the track. Whoa, some trouble there, and boom, some big contact into the shark and other racers and a big crash into the ledge as Darren Leafoot falls off of the track onto the sidewalk. I didn't even see who won. Let's check out the next replay. And whoa, a big jump by Rich Mixon as he crosses the finish line with a tumble. What an extremely exciting race that we just witnessed here. Here we can see some of our racers at the bottom of the pool. It looks like Dirksten D'Agostino was down there. And who else was down there? It looks like it was Sig Alert as well. And then we know Darren Leafoot is way over here on the sidewalk, flipped over. Oh my goodness, I really do hope that he's okay he almost made it but crashed into the ledge and then over here across the finish line we have rich mixon flipped upside down but he is our winner for crossing the finish line congratulations for joining our finalists And now introducing our third set of racers, we have Dinoco Cruz Ramirez, Bill Tankson, number 95, Lightning McQueen, and Taco. Get ready to rumble! And here come our racers at full speed ahead, and whoa, it was too close of a call to see who won. Let's check out the next replay. And as our racers now come hurtling down the track, it becomes very apparent that Phil Tankson takes first position as they jump a big crash in midair between him and Lightning McQueen. Let's watch the error replay to see the action again. And on opposite sides of the track, we can see Cruz Ramirez and Taco battling it out to keep out of last position, but it looks like Taco starts to fall behind. He just can't keep up with Dinoco Cruz Ramirez as they land up for the jump, and oh no, it looks like a big crash which puts Cruz Ramirez into the pool, but Taco flips across the finish line. I didn't see who won. Let's check out the next replay, and here comes it in super slow motion, a big tie between Lightning McQueen and Phil Tankson. Oh my goodness. Oh, we are going to have to have another tiebreaker to find out who will win this race. Here at the bottom of the pool, we can see Dinoco Cruz Ramirez, and then over here across the finish line, Phil Tankson, and then we have Lightning McQueen, and thirdly, we have Taco. Let's get our Nitro Aid racer in the number 95 lined up and ready to race. And here come our racers barreling down the track at full speed ahead. And it was another too close to call. We need to have another replay. And here we see the number 28 and 95 kind of lined up side by side as they line up for that jump. And they barely make it out of that shark in their way. Still too close to call. We need to see the air replay to find out the action one more time. Phil Tankson starts going from side to side in his lane. Still barely ahead of Lightning McQueen just by a hair as they enter into the ramp part of the track. They line up. Here comes the jump across the pool. It's still way too close to call. We need to check out our finish line replay to find out who won. And here come our racers lining up for that jump, jumping at the exact same time. And oh no, some contact between Phil Tankson and that shark slowing them down just by a smidge. And Lightning McQueen crosses the finish line first by a hair. What a very exciting tiebreaker race that we had here. Phil Tankson comes in second, which leaves Lightning McQueen as our winner. Congrats to the number 95 for moving forward to the final round. And for our last round of qualifiers, we have the infamous Jackson Storm, Ponchi Wipeout, Brick Yardley, and Chester Whipplefilter, who will be the fastest to qualify for the final round. And our racers are off with the start as they zoom down the track and line up for the jump, and oh my goodness, what just happened? Let's check out the next replay to find out. Here comes Ponchi Wipeout up the middle, pulling into first position. It looks like he's having some trouble there, and he spins out, but oh my goodness, he spins right over the pool. Oh my goodness, folks, we need to watch the next replay, because this is just too exciting. Here we have what it seems to be all of our racers really starting out side by side, until all of a sudden looks like the number 90 punches on the accelerator. Oh no, if we look over to Chester Wipplefilter, it looks like he's having some trouble as he moves from side to side in his lane. And then there comes Brick Yardley making contact with Ponchi Wipeout, and oh no, Chester Wipplefilter falls into the pool. We need to watch the final replay to find out exactly who won. And here come all of our racers lining up for that jump, and it looks like Jackson Storm's the one that takes off first, and he sticks the landing. Oh no, he flips right over the finish line. My goodness, I hope he's okay after that time. Tumble. Let's fish our racers out of the pool. First we have Brick Yardley, and then we have what looks to be, it looks like it's Chester Whipple Filter. 
Let's go ahead and put him down right over there. And then we have our racers that cross the finish line. In second, we have Ponchy Wipeout. And then in first, our winner, we have Jackson Storm. Congratulations for being our final qualifier for the final round. And now, here are all of our racers that have qualified for the final Grand Championship round. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Grand Championship Round. I present to you Jackson Storm, Rich Mixon, Richie Gunzit, and Lightning McQueen! And our racers are off with pedal to the metal as they line up for that jump, and it looks like most of them clear it. Let's check out the action one more time with the next replay. Here we have Rich Mixon and Jackson Storm battling out for first position, but it looks like Rich Mixon takes it. There goes Jackson Storm. Oh, he barely makes it over that jump, and he flips over and over again when he lands. Let's check out the next replay to watch it again. And it looks like all of our racers are sitting out side by side until Rich Mixon punches it and heads into first position. And now we have Richie Guns and Lightning McQueen battling it out, just barely trying to stay out of last position position and then oh no it looks like Gaspin careens to the side which heads him into the pool and Lenny McQueen makes that jump and lands it on the other side along with two of our other racers I didn't even see who won so let's check out the next replay to find out and here comes Rich Mixon off the ramp first and he lands it on the other side and it looks like he crosses the finish line first and following him is Jackson Storm and Lightning McQueen what a very exciting and close race that we just had now let's go ahead and fish out our last position racer. It looks like it was Richie Gunson after he careened into the side and lost his momentum. Let's go ahead and put him down here in the grass. And then our third position racer, we have the number 95, Lightning McQueen. And then in second place, what flipped over here is Jackson Storm. But then our first position racer, the winner of the Grand Championship, is Rich Mixon. Congratulations to our second and third place racers as well, and congratulations to every racer that participated in today's race. And now, let's go ahead and take away this pool and set up for our very exciting bonus race. All the way up here at the top of the track, we have our racers, the haulers that brought in every set of racers for our grand champion. Which one will be the fastest and cross the finish line first? Let's watch and find out. Ready? Steady, go! And here come the haulers as fast as they can go. Some contact with both walls. Let's check out the next replay. Oh, and there goes our camera going way too fast for the haulers to keep up. Oh no, but it looks like it might have been Ponchi Wipeout's hauler. But let's just check out the next replay to watch the action again. And straight out of the gate, it looks like it's the number 90 hauler that's coming into first position with the number 24 settling into second, trying to battle him out to take first position. And then in the back, we have Jackson Storm's hauler falling behind and then wall contact on the interior and exterior walls by both haulers i didn't even see who won as the rest of the haulers pull across the finish line let's check out the next replay to find out and here comes punchy wipeout's hauler crossing that finish line first followed by vitaline and jackson storm's hauler and then it looks like jocko flacco's hauler comes in last position and here we have jackson storm's hauler and jocko flacco's party hauler let's get them out of the way and then let's move the vitaline hauler out of the way as well to make way for our number one hauler, the finalist racer, Ponchi Wipeouts Hauler. And now let's add the pool back in for another bonus race. As we move all the way up here at the top of the hill, we have all of our racers who have participated in today's races, excluding the haulers, lined up and ready for another bonus race. Which one will be the fastest and cross the finish line first? And they're all off at full speed ahead, lining up for the jump, and whoa, what just happened? Let's check out the replay to watch the action again. Here come all of our racers down the ramp. It looks like Ponchi Wipeout's gunning for first position as they line up for the jump. He spins, and oh no, it looks like a bunch of racers get caught on the railing before they can clear the jump. Let's watch the aerial replay. And as our racers come down the ramp, it looks like Lightning McQueen and Ponchi Wipeout are gunning for first position. Oh no, it looks like some racers are falling behind in the third lane. It looks like the number 90 takes his chance and takes first position. Some contact between him and Rich Mixon. Whoa, no! It looks like the number 95 is getting eaten by a shark there for a second as they all the racers go crashing into the pool. Let's check out the final replay to watch it again. And bam! There's the
the number 95's big attack against that giant shark, and we can see an even better view of all the racers just hitting the railing, not making it across the jump, and it also looks like some of our racers didn't even make it to the jump. Wow, what an amazing and exciting race that we just witnessed here. It looks like the big shark is just done with. And then here are all the racers that piled into the pool after that race. Let me know which one was your favorite out of all of the racers. You can let me know in the comments below. And the next racer we pulled out looks like it was Rich Mixon racing for Tank Coat. Followed by Ponchi Wipeout, the number 90. And then we have what looks like our number 24, the Vitaline Racer. And then the next racer that we pulled out is Parker Brakeston, racing with the number 68. And then who do we have here? Oh, it's Taco! He is then followed by the number 95, Lightning McQueen! Who's the next racer that we have? Oh, it's Phil Tankston! And then next we have the number 121, our Clutch Aid Racer. And then after Dino Drapsky, we have Richie Gunzit, racing for Gasprin. And then our next car that we pull out, it looks like it's a Lightning McQueen in disguise, Chester Whipple Filter. And the next car looks to be another Thunder Hollow Racer, it's Fishtail, the number 96. Thank you everyone for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, check out our other videos on this channel. And in the meantime, keep racing!